Today on The Joy Sutton Show, how do you know if he's the one? The author of Wise Courtship shows us how to tell a stud from a dud. Sutton Show starts now. Welcome to The Joy Sutton Show. When it comes to love and choosing a mate, it's one of the most important decisions you can make in your life. But how do you really choose wisely? They say love is off and blind and I have been there. So how can you tell if he is really, re I mean really the one? Today joining us is the author of Wise Courtship, Tony Henderson Myers, and she says there is a way to reduce your chances mm -hmm. of marrying a frog instead of your prince. So you're going to tell us a lot about this. And I read your book and I just thought it was so impactful because many of us are doing it wrong. It led you to write this book. What did you find was the issue? What are we doing wrong? You really want to know what you're getting. You don't want to be surprised in the end. So you want to really take the time and do the due diligence uh, that it takes to find the person that matches your personality, uh, matches what you want to do in your life. And so that you can pair yourself with this person and, and live a fulfilling life and really enjoy that relationship. Do you think love is blind? It can be, mm -hmm, <laughs> it can mm -hmm. be, because love is extremely emotional. Um, and what I'm asking people to do is to be a little more factual so that when the feelings come, it'll work together. But if you allow the feelings to happen first, and do no work and find no facts out, it can be very So you blind. say you got a fact check and you said there's a three step process yes. to fact check. Number one, you say interview. What does oh, that yes. mean? Interview sounds stuffy, but what it really is, is like what we're doing. We're just talking. We're getting to know one another. Uh, we do that on dates. You know, where do you work? Um, do you have siblings? We ask those casual type questions. Uh, with this interview technique, you want to be a little more uh, purposeful about how you are asking the questions. Because what are you trying to find out? You're trying to find out if this person is best suited for you. You want to also find out if they're authentic. Uh, for instance, if they say that they're shy, um, you know, you're gathering information in this stage so that later when you hit your other steps, that you're able to take that initial information and see, and, if, it lines and see up. if it lines up. So you're really trying to get to know the person and yes. asking those right questions. Any critical questions we should ask that you tell women that they need to know? Well, you know, it depends on your priority list and what's important to you. Well, certainly we want people to be able to work. We want people to be able to take Do care of themselves. Do you have a job? Is the person Absolutely. <laughs> we want to make sure they're not hatchet murderers. Mm -hmm. But other than that, if you're interested in having children, that may be uh, one of the questions that will be on your top priority list to you know, pull that information. Do you even like children? That may be how it starts. Mm -hmm. So your list would depend on what's important to you. What's important to you. Moving on, you said observation. Yes. What does observation mean? Observation means do I see what I thought you told me earlier on in the interview phase. You get a lot of information from looking at people. Just looking. And oh, yeah. I know one thing you said is that you should observe their friends, them oh, around yes. their friends, and bring them around your friends. Oh, Finally, yeah. you say investigation yeah. and research. So your yeah. observation, your interviewing, what is the investigation? What does that mean? Do you yeah. recommend doing a background check? Is that what you're saying? Well, you can. I mean, you know, it just depends on the, the stage in the relationship. Um, but certainly, if you want a background check, you may want to figure out why I do I want one and you may have already answered your questions mm -hmm. so investigation helps us to look deeper mm -hmm. to see if we really got our facts straight so how do you know that sounds like a lot because you don't want to take the romance out of it no. I mean you over here with private investigators my mom says I am like a reporter probably on many <laughs> dates but how do you not get so deep in that you keep that balance but that you also figure out he's the one yeah. is there something that will tell you he's the one well, he's the one is when facts and feelings meet together. So facts and feelings meet, meet together. together. Yeah, I love it's that. It's a perfect match. Okay, when we come back, we're going to hear from some singles, and you're going to okay. be giving us some additional advice. But that is cool yeah. that we really need to be doing our research, and our facts and our feelings need to line up, or Absolutely. he is not the one. Absolutely. And we'll be right back. Coming up. Were there a lot of frogs out there? 